Recently, seniors presented their capstones, and I asked a few of them to explain what was happening before they presented. Here are their stories. I'm here with Justine Drapeau to talk about her capstone. Justine, can you tell me what your capstone is? Uh, my capstone is on the pharmaceutical industry and how expensive the drugs are. Have you learned anything cool about that? Um, well, I got to go to Husson and I got to go into a compounding lab and we made lollipops, which was really cool. And that took about four hours to make one lollipop, so that kind of just told me how long it takes to make one drug. Is there anything that stood out to you that was like, wow, I can't believe this? Um, well, when I talked to the scientist from Jackson Labs, she told me that it costs a million dollars for one microscope, and they have about ten microscopes for each project that they're working on, so that was crazy to me. Uh, um, do you think this is something you could see in the future with after high school life, after college life? Yeah, I've definitely, after my project, I started looking into pharmaceutical like positions as a profession. And so what I'm going to college for is chemistry, but I may specialize in pharmaceutical chemistry. And what is the one thing you will take from Capstone? Um, I'll definitely take being able to conduct interviews and talk to people, because I did a lot of that in my Capstone. And that was a skill I was not necessarily good at before my Capstone. So I'll definitely take that with me. All right, thank you, Justine. Today I'm here to talk to Sam Pilgrim about his capstone. Sam, what's your capstone on? Um, my capstone is on building a custom bicycle frame. Cool, cool. What got you interested in that? Well, my like my family is all really into bikes, so I just thought it'd be cool to build one. All right. Um, through the process, did you have any bumps in the road? Um, just like the cost of things and like. A lot of the stuff for brazing it and stuff is really hard to find, so we had to specially order it online. Could you uh, like explain what brazing is? Uh, it's just like it's like welding, but instead of like melting the two tubes together, you use like a filament metal to like glue two tubes together. All right. Um, is there anything you're gonna take from this experience? Anything you learned? Um, I learned how to braze. Alright, pretty cool. I learned how to build a bike. Alright, so is your finished project a bike that you can ride and everything? Hopefully. Alright, Hopefully all right. I'll be able to ride it. Alright, thank you. Yeah, anytime. I'm here with John Whitcomb to talk about his capstone. John, what was your capstone on? My capstone was about coaching and different coaching philosophies and coaching styles. And what did you do your field work on? For my field work, I planned on coaching an athlete myself in high jump and shadowing some college coaches to see what techniques they used when they coached their athletes. You said you planned on it. What is I that planned mean? on it, but it didn't really work out as I couldn't get in touch with the college coaches. I tried, but it was hard to figure things out. And with the athlete, it's very difficult. It was very difficult to find times to meet up. And when we could, we couldn't really work on high jump because there's snow outside and all the indoor facilities were very booked. It, there wasn't much wiggle room. So besides the timing conflict and trying to find people, was there any other struggles? Um, not really, just the big struggle was time, finding time for everything. Is this something you're looking to do after college life, high school life? Yeah, I'm very interested in coaching and I hope to be a collegiate level track coach. Juniors, if seeing the capstones or hearing these stories gave you any ideas, you can do summer field work. Ms. Lambop sent out an email. The proposal will be due May 15th. If you're interested, go see Ms. Lambop or your advisor.